This question is annoying just because there's so much to sort through, but it's basically um, kind of a version of plug points into equations. We don't actually have an equation, but we're really just being asked to match the points that are on the graph with the points that are given in these, these tables. So it's really just kind of flip back and forth. Um, so to start, I would look at the y-intercept. That's usually just the easiest point, and I can tell that zero is the first point in all of these. So what is the y-intercept? Well, that point right there is zero, negative five. So that rules out A, that's zero, zero. It rules out B, that's zero, zero. But both C and D have that point. Now, comparing them, I could go either way. I could go to the one, I could go to the two, it doesn't matter. Let's just go to one, just for the sake of simplicity. And if I do that, that's the point right here. And we can see that it's one, and then that's negative three. So if we go down, one negative three is in D, but not in C, so that's the answer. Um, you might be thinking, like, how could anyone get this wrong, right? Like, why would, why would someone make a mistake? Well, <laughs> I bet that choice C comes about by messing up the slope. So what some people will do is they're so robotically programmed to solve with algebra that their teacher kind of would force them to look at this line and come up with the equation or come up with the slope by doing slope formula. And you can do that. But that's a formula that people mess up all the time. And if you mess it up, I guarantee you're gonna to start to notice that wrong slope in these wrong answers. So don't set yourself up for that mistake. Don't do algebra if you don't have to. This is literally just copy the points from one graph down to the tables and see what happens. You're really, overall on the SAT, your goal should be avoid algebra. Don't do it unless you have to. And this is definitely a case where we don't have to.